In this video, we are going to discuss how network protocols are used. So let's first see what is a protocol. Protocol is a set of rules and regulations that has been set down, laid down so that we can exchange information over a network. Now, as we have discussed in previous videos that there are different types of networks, there are different types of workstations that are allowed. Now, they need a set of rules and regulations that can be commonly followed so that the exchange of information can take place in a seamless manner. But before any protocol can be set down, can be laid down, we need to understand how the network is logically arranged so that we can understand that what protocols are to be used. Like we have discussed in the previous video that what a network topology is. So if there is a central node to which all the workstations are attached, then there will be different set of rules for communication. If there is a central band of a bus topology and there are workstations attached to it on both the sides, then that will be a different set of protocols. If there are dumb terminals attached to the network, terminals that do not have any processing power of their own, in that case, there will be different set of rules that will be required. So, these are the rules, the protocols that we will be studying in the next couple of videos. But before we can get down to those rules, those protocols, we need to understand that what is the logical organization of a network. The most common, the most popular is the OSI model or Open Systems Interchange Model which was laid down by the ISO that is the International Standards Organization. So in this video, we have seen that what is a network protocol and why we need it. In the next video, we are going to look at the OSI model or the Open Systems Interface model of the logical organization.